that says let x1, x2 up to xn denote a random sample from a Poisson distribution or Poisson distribution. You have f x lambda is equal to the base n here, then where x equal to 0 1 is defined the MLE of what lambda that is in question. So now the most important thing I said is first of all, you identify though it has been given, but so in case the distribution function is not given, the first thing you should do is to what? Identify which distribution you were given. So and this is a Poisson distribution. So, since it's a Poisson distribution, that means you need to use this uh, distribution function. So, should in case you are given, let's say, uh, a binomial distribution, you know that if it's binomial distribution, you have your what? P, Q, what do you have? N, X, I remember, P, X, Q, N minus X. So that you can have N, X, what is P, X, right? Then 1 minus P, N minus X. So, if it is binomial, you do this. Now, you don't need to be told. So you just see that it's binomial, you just recall the distribution function that you're supposed to use. So now, we are not dealing with what? Poison distribution, solution. In case this kind of question comes up, you notice this one now, you say, okay, this is a little bit different, but because of you see this x1, x2, da 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 to xn, it's not that difficult. So let's get our distribution function to be fx lambda is equal to what? Exponential what? Negative lambda, lambda x over x factorial, then that's all. That's all we need. So, the step one, so we should do what? Can I still remember step one? Hmm? Step one. Mm -hmm. Take the likelihood function. So, the first one is what? Take the what? Likelihood function. So, if I'm taking the likelihood function in the same as, L of what? P is equal to what? You know now, if you are taking like new function, you are multiplying by what? A constant. N into minus lambda x1. Uh, okay. This is lambda x over what? X, x factorial. And we're told that x grows. X can go from x1, x2, x3 up to x whatsoever. So this can be simplified further. We will simplify this. Now, you know if we apply this to this guy here, this guy, is it a variable or a constant? You need to understand which one is a variable and which one is a constant. Lambda, is it a variable or is it a constant? It's a variable. Okay. You say lambda is a variable, but it's not a variable. Hmm? Lambda is not a variable. It's a constant term. The variable there is x. In fact, x is even an independent value. So now, looking at this now, if you are to apply this constant into this guy, what do you think it will give to this one? When it multiplies, when it goes to a constant, it gives it what? n. But when it goes to variable, it gives it what? Summation. Don't forget. So now we have this to be what? Exponential negative n lambda. Have it? Yes. Then this is lambda. What, did it, what will it give to this one? So we show what? X. R over what? You know this is the same as what? This guy goes into, this is 1 and into what? Let's say this x1, x2, x3. You know the factorials, right? Yes. Dot, 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 dot. X, n factorial. Okay? So you notice something. This one, if you have to simplify it, you will get exponential minus n. Please, if you have a question, you, just, you can just stop me and add to me. Please, so that it shouldn't be that term. So you know that this can be what? If I'm to take the summation of this, it becomes what? Pi, this is n, i running from 1 to n of what? I can say summation x as. Hope you know. I can use it like this. Then, and I know that if I'm using it like this, and uh, you know, I need to put it in the form that it will be straight so that I can easily take my uh, 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 the log of the this uh, expression. So you know I will just take it up, but then I can decide to say let uh, I may decide to say let pi i running from 1 to n summation x i equal to what I may say uh, equal to c. You understand? It's easier for me now. I have reduced it. So that if I'm not rewriting it, it becomes what? Exponential negative n lambda lambda summation x 
If I take C, you know C is down here now. Yes. If I'm taking it up, it becomes what? Negative. Is it just exponential negative? Negative. One. Is it this? Check, 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 check. Is it what it will give me? Or what will it give me? You know that this is carrying our one now. So if I'm taking it up, uh, it becomes what? Exponential negative one. Sure? Yes. So that is all. Uh, this, now this side is to the end. So now, step two says as we do what? Take the law. So that is going to be what? The, the likelihood function is equal to what? Let's take the lead of these guys. What we get? Uh, let's, this one's what we've gotten to this, this one now. What we get? If you are taking that lead, it becomes what? No. Once you are taking lead, this guy will come down first. So now it becomes what? Minus n lambda. Uh -huh. Exponential what? No. Nothing again. Just lean of what? Exponents of the natural law. I get it now. This is natural law. Lean e. So now, what is it confusing? It's just to, once you have written the power, just lean of the next thing there. So let's do the next one. Since this guy had conjoined with multiplication, it becomes what? Plus. Have you? Then what do we have here now? What do we do to this one? I'm applying lean to it. What like I get? You know what will come down? What is that thing that will come down? The power. And what is the power? Exponential. Summation X. X. And then lean what? Exponential. No, lean lambda. This guy is on the soul, this guy is on the soul, this guy is on the soul. Okay. So now, the next thing is what? Since this one I also uh, conjoined with what? Plus. And uh, the uh, multiplication becomes what? Plus. Now what will happen to this one now? Take the log of that exponential negative one. The power will come down. Minus Don't forget. Minus one into what? Then lean what? Exponent. Exponent. That's all. So now you have taken the log. And what's the next thing now? Number three is said you should take the what? You should differentiate it. Differentiate it. <laughs> so now the partial derivative. So you are taking partial derivative of lean. LP with respect to what, please? Respect to P. Go to the question. It's not with respect to P. It's not, the P is not because of this thing. Go to the question. The question said distribution function of this, this, this. Find the MLE of lambda. So we're differentiating with respect to lambda. So what we have? Differentiate this guy with respect to lambda. Now look at something. Anytime you have something joined like this, look at this guy. This guy means 1. I get a natural of that's one. So this guy here is one. I get it. So what do you have left? Minus n lambda. So should in case you have this, it's very simple. Minus n lambda. Now differentiate this minus n lambda with respect to lambda. What will you get? Minus lambda. Minus? Lambda. No. Minus n. Minus n. That's all. Then what do you have? Plus. Plus. Differentiate this guy with respect to lambda. What will you have? Summation x. Summation x. x uh -huh. N. Differentiate lean lambda. Lean will always push it to 1 over that thing. Okay. It becomes what? Over, over lambda. lambda. Differentiate 1 with respect to lambda. There is no lambda here, so it becomes what? Zero. Zero. So this will not work. It will not exist. Abby? So now, the next thing is to go to step 4. Can I clean this now? So step four, what do we have? What do how do we step four? It said equates to zero and what simply five. That's all. So now let's uh, deal with this now. We have this row minus n plus summation x over what lambda. Okay. They said we should equate it to zero. So can we make this to be what lambda lambda? Do you understand this? I distributed and then, okay, or well, let's make this better. But well, this is minus n over, you know, it's supposed to be it's now over 1. I mean, LSM is what? Lambda. Okay, this into lambda is still lambda. Then it becomes minus lambda on half time, it becomes lambda what? Okay. n plus 
lambda into lambda is 1. Abi, lambda to that 1 times summation of your observations equals 0. We cross multiply. This we go. Yes. Then we have minus lambda n plus summation x equal what? Zero. And what did they say we should find? Lambda. Hmm? So minus lambda n is equal to take this guy because of minus summation what? X. Minus cancel minus. What is your lambda now? Summation x over n. That is equal to x bar. And you know that in Poison distribution, what is the mean? Mean is lambda. That is the expected value is lambda. You understand in poison distribution? So, you see? So, the expected value, so it should please show that what? Lambda is the mean in poison what? distribution. So, that is just how to uh, solve this kind of problem. Let x1, x2 denote a random sample of from a poison distribution. You will have the uh, distribution function, but if you are not given, you have to find it yourself, right? So, equal to whatever, find the MLD of lambda, for of lambda or for lambda, okay, anyone? So, you just state this, take your likelihood, multiply everything by this constant. So, if this constant is working here, you know what it adds to it. If it's working here, you know what this guy means. So, if I take the solution of this guy, I will get whatever I got, make it to be C, it should be easier, and then from there, you can just apply the other steps and find this one.